Heart of a Rose. I know that I shouldn't have left you. I still like you like I used to. My heart aches when I watch lovers Bill and Koo. I ran away from love like a cuckoo. But I've always loved you from the bottom of my heart like a dream that came true. When I find myself daydreaming about you, my feelings turn from pleasure to deja vu. My lungs wear you like a tattoo. When I breathe, I feel blue. When the wind blows, I feel hollow, as though you kissed me and wiped the mist from your lips with a tissue. But passion has always carried me through. My heart has decided to take matters into its own hands without further ado. I miss you before I even count to. I have no choice but to let my heart do what it has to do. I don't give a damn what anybody thinks of me. I sing when love stings my heart like a bee. I am the happiest man in the world when I am with thee, baby. I couldn't help but smile like the sun on the Mediterranean Sea. Your kiss is a love potion. When I think of your lips my soul bleeds with a beautiful emotion. I will never leave your side again even if you bite my heart like a shark in the Pacific Ocean. My heart is like a rose in Spain. In the morning, it's fresh and full covered with dew droplets like a scarlet tanager in the rain. I think about you all day till it hurts my brain, yearning for your kisses like the whiskey in Maine. I search for your love in vain. I become crazed with pain. Don't let me go insane, baby. I am addicted to you like cocaine. My heart becomes dry. I become thirsty when I sigh. I talk with soft voice like a little boy that is shot. If I say that I have moved on, it would be a lot. When I think about you, my soul flies high in the sky. I can't get enough of you like a blueberry pie. You are the twinkle in my eye. I can't help but cry. When I pretend that I don't care about you, I feel paranoid like a spy who doesn't tell the enemy from ally. I can't seem to get you out of my head, no matter how hard I try. I don't care whether I live or die. I am not here in this world to keep my body and soul together or get by. But to fall in love with the most beautiful girl on the planet and kiss her till passion writes decrees on my lungs, things that you want me to do and not to do like the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. To spend quality time with the love of my life, be faithful to you, and become a stand-up guy. Not only that, but to express the love that I have for you through gifts, emotional support, physical affection, intimacy, and sex beyond anything that's created to beautify, justify, mystify, and gratify. In addition, to thrive together and lead you to say continually with breathless wonder and lullaby, that you are the luckiest girl in the solar system, out of all of this world I have chosen you, despite the fact that you have taken another little piece of my heart on the slot. I wish I had never said goodbye. I would rather argue with you and turn the world upside down like the fireworks in Shanghai, than be with someone else and celebrate life like the flowers in the Garden of Versailles. Your smile lights up my heart like the sun in July. When I see the stars in your eyes, my soul could not help but leap out of my body and float in the air like a butterfly. The angels in heavens reduced to tears whenever they read my bio. And the sun can't help but glow. But there is no rainbow. I talk to my shadow. I have hit a new low. My heart screams for your kisses like a crow. You dance in my soul like a ballerina in Moscow. My heart had always quenched its thirst with your kisses, sweet as the wines in Bordeaux. It depended on your love like how flowers depend on rain to grow. You can always count on me to meet the basic needs of your heart delicious as the cakes in Glasgow. You can always turn to me when you need emotional support like how Juliet turned to Romeo. I don't care whether love is a battlefield or a chateau. Reach out to me when you yearn for French kiss, scrumptious and slow. I will kiss you till my heart bruises and turns into indigo. Whatever happens, you will be the first to know. I will be there when you crave sex, romance, tenderness, passion, and co. I will make love to you till your soul steams out of your body like a tea in Guangzhou. It is not a quid pro quo. You don't have to tiptoe. Just come to me when you have nowhere to go. We will make love like there is no tomorrow. I am okay. I will stay away from cliché. I am satisfied with hope that is smaller than a ray. If I see a faint smile on your face, it will make my day. If you tell me that you love me, it will keep the ache in my heart at bay. If you give me a hug, it will warm my soul like the weather in May. If you bestow a kiss upon me, my heart will burst out of my chest and fly in the sky like a blue jay. 5 minus 1 is equal 4. But less is not more. I couldn't get enough of you even though you slammed my heart against the wall and left it on the floor. I don't keep score. But I know that my heart is sore. And my soul is black to the core. Whenever it senses that I am not with you, my soul couldn't wait to leave my body and soar in the sky like a raven in Baltimore. You are not high maintenance or a whore. But you don't care whether my heart is gold or a candy store. You continue to indulge yourself with sweet love, but treat me like an iron ore. You buy sweet nothings, honeyed words, and flattery and wear my soul like a gown that is designed by Kristen Dior. It looks good on you forevermore. Love is a carnivore. It continues to gorge on my heart like a jaguar in Ecuador. I couldn't take it anymore. Everything around me lets out a roar. My heart thinks that they all are monsters that came out of a folklore. 
If I say that you are everything and everything is you, I will sound like a student, who does not listen to his parents but his mentor. But who is going to stitch the soul in my heart that you tore? It looks like my soul got in a fight with a dinosaur. Some might say it is a T-Rex or a Tyrannosaur. Others would swear it's a tigress or a crocodile or a wild boar. There are those, who think it is either the passion of Christ or Spanish Inquisition in El Salvador. But it is true love, which tears apart and devours those, who rush to the fore. I don't want to go to a drugstore. I've already told you I am addicted to you like cocaine that people snore. My heart doesn't beat unless you tell it to as though he died in a war. The pain might not be what I asked for. But my heart is glad it opened the door. When love draws your eyes in my soul, feelings that I have for you splash against my ribcage like waves crashing on the shore. When your smile flashes into my soul, my heart gets excited like a sprite that has never met a person, who is a bore. It wishes it was Thor. It would have pulled out banderillas that you left in its body like a female matador, broken my ribs with its hammer, cut my chest with a sharp rib bone, exited my body, and flew in the sky like a crimson sunbird in Singapore. You are risque. My heart hasn't finished its essay. I am addicted to the pain like methamphetamine that is made in USA. Longing continues to tear my heart apart like how a leopard in Serengeti tears apart its prey. If my heart were a cigarette, I would let you smoke it and flick the ash into an ashtray. If my heart were a cloth, I would let you wear it like a lingerie. If my heart were a typewriter, I would write the story of us and true love from the beginning to the end like Ernest Hemingway. If my heart were an organ that happened to be beating outside my chest, I would put it in a box, wrap it with gift paper, tie it with a ribbon and a bow, and give it to you without a delay. You could put it on the bedside table like an alarm clock in San Jose. It'd wake you up from a bad dream right away. Or you could always cut it in half put it on a pan, cook it and eat it like a filet. It would drop in your belly and soothe your soul before you hit the hay. But to be honest, if feelings that I have for you were foods, it would be always a pleasure to serve you, and watch you devouring them like a buffet. If you were a vampire, I would let you drink my blood like the wine in Beaujolais. If love were a law and I was a cop in LA, I would arrest you and lock you in my heart whether you follow the rules or make no effort to obey. If I was a sex machine, I would make love to you non-stop from Monday to Sunday. What more do you want me to say? You are coded in my DNA. The very thought of you keeps me from going astray. I tell God to keep you safe when I pray. Whenever love paints your face in my soul, hankering chews my bones like a wolf in Norway. If the doctors in John Hopkins Hospital examine my ribcage with x-ray, they will see your image in the charts like the abstract art in Marseilles. But the question is how much does my heart really weigh? I keep finding you in my left ventricle like hurricane that tears down anything that gets in its way. I'd like to inform you it's the main chamber of the heart that is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body even though you might rule it out as hearsay. I don't know how long you are planning to stay, but yearning has consumed my soul like gourmet. I can't make up my mind whether to kick you out or let you chill for a while, as though my heart was a condo in Taipei. You've made yourself home and memorized the rhythm in my heart like a play. When the temperature in my heart increases, you portray my soul and express feelings that are raw like an actress in a Broadway. I worship thee like a deity in Bombay. When I think of your eyes, love multiplies in my soul like a rose bouquet. My heart continues to scream to no avail. It withers when the sun sets, as though I drank wine from a wrong grail. The petals fall in my stomach when I inhale. They turn into poison and kill the butterflies in my belly when I exhale. I feel empty like a villain in a fairy tale. But that doesn't bother me at all. I know when we think we have it all under control, life throws us a curveball. Maybe my heart is explosive like ethanol. Maybe you are never satisfied like a girl who has the picture of Prince on her wall. I don't mind if love bite my heart and crucifies me upside down like how the Romans executed Saint Paul. You can always have my soul on like a shawl. Or tear it down in the middle, stitch it with a sewing machine. Turn it into a crop top t-shirt and a mini skirt, wear it without bra and underwear, and walk down the catwalk in front of a supermodel, who says that she is 5 feet and 10 inches tall. It doesn't matter, you leave me breathless like the air in Nepal. Your love contains 100% alcohol. It makes me feel high when melancholy makes me feel small. And when I find my heart in the clouds, I steal Cupid's bow and arrow, trade it for a rose, and pretend that it's a close call. I extract the fragrance and apply it on my soul like perfumes that they sell in a shopping mall. What troubled me is the thorns, they are fervent and ferocious with all. They follow no protocol. Forget about the girl, who stole Prince's heart and trapped him in a downward spiral of longing in the fall. Not only can these thorns turn the lakes in Minnesota into rivers and look at them flowing down the hills and dropping from cliffs like Victoria Falls till they produce sweet sounds like a concert in a music hall. But they can also turn the sea in the Garden of Eden into precipitation and watch them coming down from the sky in torrents and flooding the town like tsunami that made a deal with heavy rainfall. 
they are wrapped around my feelings like barbed wire that is used in prison to prevent anyone from escaping and making a plan over the long haul. At night, they grow in my lungs fiercely, shredded my respiratory system to pieces, and forbidden me to breathe when I sprawl. I become animated but unresponsive like a toy that falls in love with a doll. I am not a saint. But the very thought of you makes my heart faint. Love continues to draw your face in my soul. Despite the fact that melancholy has colored the background with a blue paint. Your flawless beauty makes up for everything that has attained. I was content. Whenever I spent quality time with you, love followed me wherever I went. Whenever I saw a smile on your beautiful face, my heart understood right away what joy meant. Whenever I kissed you, passion spoke to my soul with a gorgeous accent. Whenever I told you I loved you, the flowers in my heart produced perfume more frequent whenever I made love to you pleasure erupted in my soul to the full extent. I can still smell your ambrosial scent. If I committed a sin, I will repent. But I don't deserve the torment. I have always loved you, 100%. I've had no word from you as yet. My heart is confused like a fish that is caught in a net. I have never wanted you to be upset. Nothing makes me happier than seeing you smile like Julie Delby in Before the Sunset. When love draws your face on my heart and color it with sunbeams, joy blossoms in my soul like wildflowers that they water with Sprite and Gimlet. I don't mind if you flirt with my heart like a coquette. You're the most gorgeous girl I've ever met. I want you to be in love with me like Juliet. My heart thinks that it has wings in its back like a rose finch in Tibet. And if the angels in heaven opens my chest, remove it and set it free, it would fly in the sky, be where you are and ask you to sing a duet. You can always keep my heart as a pet. But I want you to have the right mindset. We will make love till we sweat. I am forever in your debt. I won't stop till you are dripping wet. I need to get my priorities straight. I don't want to let down my soulmate. I will not hurry love even though I don't have the patience to wait. I want to ask you out on a date. I am not going to say anything even if you arrive late. A wise man once said, love has bitter roots but bears fruit sweeter and more forbidden than the apple that Adam and Eve ate. And a kiss tastes more delicious than strawberries that they sell across the state. Love will ultimately strip your dignity but double your pleasure when you try to be the master of your fate, rob your peace but gives you a reason to hold on to what you got, beautiful and great, and tear down your heart but rejuvenate your soul before you count it. But nothing can measure my heart rate. It is heavy with sadness that you continue to serve it with a plate. I know it sounds deja vu all over again like the war in Iraq and the oil in Kuwait. But if a teacher in a med school cut my torso with a scalpel, opens my chest, remove my heart, and show it to the students, they will make fun of its weight. I hope it is not a test. I feel pain in my chest. My heart has refused to take a rest. It continues to tremble like a hummingbird that falls in love with a gold crest. Love in times of longing is the best. I am blessed. I can still hear you breathing next to me like the wind in Budapest. And see you smiling like the sun in Miami before it sets in the west. I am obsessed. I can hear you the butterflies in your belly buzzing like dragonflies that can't tell fairy tale from sweet jest. And feel the stars in your eyes falling in my heart soft as snowflakes in Bucharest. They swim in my blood before they melt in my soul with zest. I am possessed. I can see you sleeping like a bird on its nest. And interpret your dreams like Cupid who helps us fall in love, dream day and night and bring our dreams to life at love's behest. Nonetheless, I continue to be drunk with love cork high and bottle deep. But I feel cheap. I toss and turn like a black sheep. I barely manage two hours sleep. Once upon time, there was a boy named Sid. He fell in love with the most gorgeous girl in the world, who didn't even know that he existed. Despite the fact that she asked him if he loved her and he said, yes, he did. Sid watered the flowers in his heart with tears that he hid. Her name was Rose Reed. Yearning continued to drink the nectar in his heart with greed, and blues grew in his soul like a weed. Later, he thought about selling his heart to the rich and famous even though his soul would be left without a home like a butterfly that had an addiction to feed. He would purchase the world and give it to her whether the breath of life that was placed in his heart agreed or disagreed. Sid put his heart on auction, one beat cost ten quid. Since it was too precious, they all couldn't help but bid. He gave her the world indeed. But the world was filled with dilemma, uncertainty, and people, who didn't help those who were in need. She returned it like a book that nobody wanted to read. Sid considered to build a rocket, travel to space, and land on Mars after he had a bottle of mead. He would inject greenhouse gases into its atmosphere, make Mars habitable, and give her flowers that he grew from seed. But he thought that despite everything, the climate in Mars would pay no heed. And Mars yielded nothing but minerals that were worth less than copper and lead. In the end, since he didn't have heart, Sid didn't bleed. He gave Rose his soul, and kissed her till his lungs torn apart and bled with a record-breaking speed. I have always loved you without ego and ID. When I hear your voice in my head, 
I get carried away like a car that lost control and went into a skid. Sometimes, I'm conscious but unable to move, as if I were attacked by a giant squid. My soul wishes to travel to space, collect the stars, and give them to you if heaven doesn't forbid. When I say that I can't take it anymore, my soul doesn't bat an eyelid. But when I wake up in the morning, my heart is full again covered with dew droplets like a rose in Madrid. I feel clueless about where my life is going like a kid. There is a crown of thorns on my head. Passion is the state of mind like the color of red. New cycle of love and pain begin before I got up from the bed. I feel like I've died, gone to heaven, and resurrected from the dead. You have nourished my soul with love like wine and bread.